Good morning, guys. So today I want to talk about what our solar system cost and uh, more importantly, why we decided to uh, to do the solar system rather than just getting connected to the to the grid. So first thing I was going to show you is that building right there is next to the closest power pole to our place. That's about a quarter mile away from our property. So I talked to the uh, power company out here and they told me figure about $10 a foot plus, uh, God, there's uh, like poles and whatever, they, they had a whole list of things. Anyway, in the end, it ends up costing over $20,000. And that was just a rough estimate and she said to expect it to be more than that. Um, so, yeah, and that wasn't the only part. The next part was we'd have to get permission from the property owners that we'd have to go across um, their properties to get to us, which in our case wouldn't have been so bad because the guy who owns the little uh, chateau up there also owns these two uh, uh, airstreams and all the property in between them. So we'd only have to deal with one guy and I'm sure he'd be happy to <laughs> let us run wires down here although i'm not sure he doesn't even like it when the animals walk across his property because they leave footprints so who knows maybe not <laughs> um but you have that to contend with whereas with solar you plop it in the ground and you don't worry about it so we decided to go with solar um and we're eventually going to have 36 panels right now we have 24 up we actually have the other 12 we just don't have them in the ground yet um so with the 36 panels and the ground mounts, we're looking at $6,340. We have a couple hundred bucks in wire and conduit going from the panels into our building, or actually up to the combiner box and then into our building. Um, and then the combiner box itself, which we've already looked at before, but I'm going to bring you over and show you that as well. Um, I have not rewired this stuff yet. I should have gotten to that by now, but whatever. It's been cold and rainy and icky the last several days, and so that's my excuse. <laughs> um, but I need to finish fitting these pieces of conduit from there up into here and getting some of that done. But, and so I can also get rid of this wire across the ground and our little guard cactus. We've got one of those up here too, not just down at the base. Um, so that is our combiner box out here. And so that was 180 bucks. And then we'll go inside. And these mounts have worked great. I mean, we've had <laughs> over 100 mile an hour winds hit them and no worries. Um, so we've got lights, not very good, but eventually I'll put the ones up on the ceiling. I guess while it was raining, I could have done that, but I didn't. Um, so this is where the solar comes in and I've actually got a box that just arrived yesterday to put this stuff in and I've got more of the shunts so we can have some protection against lightning and whatnot. But you can see the the wires come in. They're 12 gauge, which is good for carrying about 20 amps. And our panels were only rated for about eight amps. And we have two series coming together into each of those wires. So that's about 16 amps peak. And we've got our breakers here. Um, those, those and the shunts and the box to put them in was $80. Um, and we've got our big old battery here and that guy was $5,000. So that was a big chunk. And then you can see the big wires coming out of here up to the breaker and up to the splitter that goes into this terminal block down here. Those wires ran us, the wires and the SB350 connector down there ran us uh, 50 bucks. And then that big breaker right there I got on eBay for I believe like $40. Um, there's a few bucks over that, but 
whatever, close enough. Um, and then these three wires, the big red ones and the three black ones here that come off of the main 4 aught cable into our blocks, those ran us uh, about 30 bucks. Um, the terminal blocks themselves, that's the metal part inside, and then the box that they go into was $100 for the positive up here and the negative down here, which you guys have already seen inside of these. But I'll open it up anyway, so there's that one. I ordered these off Amazon. They were both supposed to be clear. They were the same item, but one showed up not clear, but I figured it really didn't matter. Um, served its purpose anyway. Uh, and then we've got these two gauge wires that go from the terminal blocks, the positive and the negative, um, and go through the, the circuit breakers there. That's these, these guys right here. If I flip this on, then this other inverter, which I currently have off, would turn on, and I don't need it on, so I'm not going to flip that. But that stuff was $90. Um, and then we have the actual inverters. They ran about 800 bucks a piece, so I put $2,400 on that. That includes shipping from uh, uh, Taiwan, I think it was. Anyway, um, and then we've got our transformer here. I bought that off eBay. I mean, new, it's like you know, $3,000, $4,000 for one of these things, but uh, I got it on eBay, shipped for 900 bucks. Um, and then got our AC panels here for $300. And then I'm not going to count anything outside of here, like going out to our buildings and things like that, because of course we'd still have to do that even if we were connected to the grid. So with this, we've got 10 kilowatts of solar panels. We've got about 50 kilowatts of battery storage. We've got the ability to transform 50 kilowatts from our inverters and we currently have 15 kilowatts of inverters um, so we can basically produce about 60 amps at 240 and the cool thing about how we set this up we're ready to add more inverters so for like five thousand dollars more we could triple the inverter capacity and we could also add panels to it and triple our capacity that way and we can add batteries and you know go up to triple our capacity or more that way so i mean really it's not i mean it's all money <laughs> it's all need right now we certainly don't need even what we have i mean the last couple of days have been cloudy and we ran the heater all day and all night and whatever even on you know without generating any power really yesterday um you know we still were able to run our electric heater all night um so we're looking at uh, $15,710 for the whole system. Now that doesn't include this building, but the building, I don't know, I guess I wouldn't think that's part of a solar system. Normally you have to have your, have your building, but the building we have about $4,000 into. Um, so even if you include that, we're less than what it would cost to, you know, get the grid connected to us. I don't know. I think it's a better solution, and in the end, it's cheaper than uh, than connecting to the grid. And more importantly, we don't have a power bill. So, anyway, uh, I'm gonna record another video later today when we uh, do the watering of our battery. It's actually really neat because you take the stuff that's in this box that's sitting on top of here, and uh, you know, put your water into into there, and then connected up to this little doohickey right here and supposedly it just magically fills the battery up to the proper level and then stops so we're gonna we're gonna check that out later today thanks for watching see you guys next one bye